Today's question is. What if we bombed the moon with a nuclear bomb? The possibility of bombing the moon with a nuclear bomb is very likely. Humans did not hesitate to bomb the earth with nuclear bombs for research reasons and motives. Therefore, bombing the moon is very likely. Man has detonated nuclear bombs in the oceans, islands, deserts, mountains and inside the ground. Therefore, I am very surprised at their delay in detonating the nuclear bomb on the moon. If we wanted to bomb the moon in a way that would endanger humanity, we would need an incredibly powerful bomb. Thus, such a bomb that will trigger an explosion will send shock waves across the surface of the moon, potentially causing a large crater and reshaping the landscape of the moon. The explosion may be visible from the ground, depending on its size and location. Such an explosion would launch a huge amount of debris into space. Some of this debris may end up in Earth's orbit, which could pose a threat to satellites and the International Space Station. The effect can also affect tides on Earth, as the moon's gravity plays a crucial role in tides on our planet. It is possible that bombing the moon would change its orbit, even if only slightly. This may lead to changes in the moon's position in the sky and its gravitational interactions with Earth. While the impacts may not be catastrophic, they can have unintended consequences for our planet's ecosystems and climate patterns. The force required to significantly change the trajectory of the moon would be absolutely immense. However, the exact amount of force needed would depend on a variety of factors, including the specific change in trajectory desired and the current velocity and mass of the moon. To put things in perspective, the moon has a mass of about 7.35 times 10 to the power of 22 kilograms and an average orbital velocity of about 1.022 kilometers per second. To noticeably alter the moon's trajectory, you would need to apply an enormous amount of energy, far beyond anything we currently possess or could conceivably create. Nuclear explosions are indeed powerful, but even the largest nuclear bomb ever detonated, the Tsar Bomba, had an explosive yield of around 50 megatons of TNT, 210 pj. While that might sound like a lot, it's still several orders of magnitude below the energy required to alter the moon's trajectory in a meaningful way. Finally, I hope that the aliens who are observing the scene in the solar system do not consider the detonation of a nuclear bomb on the moon as a provocative act, pushing them to invade us and lead to our enslavement or annihilation. This would be totally unexpected. Before we finish the video, I would like to draw your attention to the following information. During the Cold War era, there were concepts like Project A-119 which was a study conducted by the US Air Force in the late 1950s to explore the feasibility of detonating a nuclear device on the moon as a show of force during the space race. However, this project was ultimately cancelled and no such action was taken. Support us by pressing the like button, and if you do not subscribe to the channel, subscribe to receive all new videos.